Ratibu, Shadidi, William Henry, J. Cox. Got his ring some time back. William Henry J. Cox, also known as some as Bill or Ratibu, was a community activist and visionary man of God. Ratibu, along with his wife, Honorable Wilma Mina Carter, founded the Bridges That Carried Us Over project that was launched in 2007 and led by the Wilma Mina Carter Foundation. This project was one of the first documentary projects in the area to capture the stories, experiences, and history of the black community in this particular region. Strongly committed to civic engagement, Ratibu and his wife, Wilma Mina Carter, founded the Inland Empire Kwanzaa Group. This organization hosted the annual Kwanzaa activities in the Inland Empire to ensure that community members of all ages took part in celebrating African American culture and history. He was among the first organizer of the annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Prayer Breakfast to remind all people of Dr. King's dedication to social justice and equity. A major focus of this breakfast is to recognize the contribution of individuals who communicate and follow Dr. King's nonviolence mission. In addition to his social activism, Ratibu was an active member of the Temple Missionary Baptist Church, where he taught Sunday school for over 30 years. He valued a leadership role in the West Side Action Group and was a life member of the National Council of Negro Women. Other community-focused activities included a member of the Black History Committee Parade, Black Student Union Advisory at Bloomington High School, and coordinator of the Youth Speaking Club held on the campus of San Bernardino Valley College. Ratibu was a strong supporter that many of you had a chance to really get to know, which is truly a blessing that I was among one of them. And he was truly an advocate of Kawanza consciousness in business enterprise. He was co-owner of Elegant Floors and Creative Business Services. And in support of black businesses in San Bernardino and Riverside counties, Creative Business Services published an annual Black-Owned Business Directory. How many of you had a Black-Owned Business Directory? Yes. And so when you think about supporting community, he was definitely a, one of the greats. Many of his experiences can be read in his autobiography entitled Incidents, Struggle, and Divine Intervention, Memoirs of Artigo Jacobs. Accepting the award on behalf of our table is Mr. Carl Damron. Please join me in welcoming you to the stage. Thank you very much. It's an absolute honor for me to be here today with Tariki Shani. Rajibu's oldest granddaughter. <laughs> Mina's not feeling well and is unable to attend, and so in her honor, I actually wrote my remarks so that I don't act like Ratibu and go on with it too long. Habaragani! <laughs> Which is Swahili for How Are You? Ratibu Shidi or William Henry J. Cox was the co owner of Elegant Floors and Creative Business Services with his wife Amina. Ratibu was also an entrepreneur, author, lobbyist, and political consultant. I once wrote Ratibu a check, and for fun, I wrote Ratibu Shadi. He brought me back and goes, no, nah, brother, that won't work. You gotta put my government name on that check. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Ratibu, if you love you, you got an African name. My name is Kamau, which means silent lawyer. This is Tariki. My name is Tariki, which means the way, the road, the one who brings them all together. Yes. These names had deep meaning and were given after much thought. I am Ratibu's son-in-law. That means I had to ask Ratibu's permission to marry his oldest daughter. <laughs> he made me wait about 45 days and go through some ceremonies before he said yes. <laughs> Calling him a warrior who would not sit down, Milana Karaga, their friend and creator of the African American Winter Festival, 
Kwanzaa explained that Ratibu means one who puts things in their proper place, idea giver and catalyst for positive action. Carter J. Cox taught Kwanzaa to black youth, black youth to instill a sense of pride in their cultural heritage. Quick story, Ratibu and Amina were friends for a long time. And they were on a trip up to Tahoe with John Dukes and Vivian Nash, and they were planning this beautiful Kawada uh, African wedding. And Amina asked Vivian Nash, who is this wedding for? And Vivian says, it's for you and Roxy Boo. <laughs> well, it was news to her. <laughs> but they, that's how persistent and dogged Roxy Boo was. He had her planning her own wedding and didn't know it was for her. <laughs> the couple married in 1984, and Lala and Karanga performed a spectacular ceremony for them at the Orange Shell. The pair were resplendent in traditional gold and red robes and headdress, headdresses. African drumming and dancing accompanied the ceremony, followed by a ritual libration, devoting the couple in their union. Rockman published, he's a published author of Incidents, Struggles, and Divine Interventions, Memoirs of Rockman Shabit Buy the book, read the book. You want to hear tales? There are tales in that book, and Roxy Boo did not hold back. <laughs> he moved out here in 1977 to find a job at Ralston Perina after his own failed business has failed. Roxy Boo went to Ralston and started working the job. He didn't apply, he didn't take an interview, he decided he wanted to work for him, so he started working for him. <laughs> after a few months, they found out, who is this guy selling all this stuff? And they called him in to ask him, and he informed them that he was their employee, and instead of firing him, they made him his their employee. And he was one of their top selling representatives. That was Raji Mushidi. He wanted to do it, so he did it. He worked for State Senator Ruben Ayala um, and was involved with protesting the KKK in Fontana. Many of, you, many of you may not know this, but the KKK used to march in full regalia down Main Street in Fontana. Rati Boo J. Cox never backed down. J. Cox also emphasized the importance of culture, Koweida, the influence that Dr. Milana Karanga had on his life. He began going by the name of Rati Boo Shadi, a name chosen with the help of Karanga instead of William Henry J. Cox. He taught the seven principles of Kwanzaa. Throughout his life, J. Cox's philosophy was always earn what you learn, which he used as his own guide for people who are trying to move ahead in life. The Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Statue Committee was led by Rati Boo, Wilma Amina Carter, Francis Rice, Valerie Pope Lovell, Vivian Nash Dukes, Gertrude Wessel, Wessel and others. Roger who led the charge to have Rialto's new high school named after William Amina Carter, the first school named after an African American in San Bernardino County, if not the whole England Empire. Roger who also ran the campaign to get Amina elected to the California State Assembly as the first African American and first female from this area. Uh, quick aside, Amina was not interested in running for the assembly. <laughs> it was Roxy who encouraged the idea. And Pastor Turner went to her one day and said that God told him to tell Amina to run. <laughs> Amina said, well, you need to tell God to tell me. Needless to say, Amina went, ran, and won. <laughs> Roxy who died December 10th the age of 72, after a brief illness with his wife, Amina, holding his hand. He's remembered for his vision and passion, which will continue through his mate, Amina, his children, Anye, Malayika, Jamala, and eight grandchildren, Tariki, Shani, Daima, Cheyenne, Amina too, Darian, Shaila, Akiba, Halisi, Mia, Miani, his brother James, sister Jean, Catherine Odessa, and many other loving relatives. I have to end this with a farewell statement. 
from Maulana Karanga. It is only appropriate that we end with the Tanisha La Tuana for his clear and concise statement of values and vision we must cherish and maintain if we are to liberate ourselves and reshape reality in our own image according to our own needs and interests. Strive for discipline, dedication, and achievement in all you do. Dare to struggle and sacrifice and gain the strength that comes from this. Build where you are and dare to leave a legacy that was last as long as the sun shines and the water flows. Practice, practice the Nguza Saba daily. Emoja, unity. Kuji Chakalia, self-determination. Emoja, collective work and responsibility. Ujema, cooperative economics. Nia, purpose. Kuamba, creativity. Imani, faith. And may the wisdom of the ancestors always walk with us. May the years end meet us laughing and stronger. May our children Honor us by following our example in love and struggle. At the end of the year, may we sit again together in larger numbers with greater achievement and closer in times and closer to liberation and a higher level of human life. Now, seven times. <laughs>